Okay, one of my favorite things to make and what I'm really passionate about showing you all is how to do bread. And I've had requests since I started Stacy Makes Sense about showing you all some bread videos and how to do stuff like that. So one of the things I'm going to show you today are the supplies that I use when I do make a loaf of bread because you don't have to have a lot of crazy things to make it. Mainly you just need some elbow grease and a bowl. Um, you don't have to have any fancy gadgets, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite things that I do use. So when I get started, I mostly use my mixer and I use this to knead. Uh, you can knead by hand, so you don't even need this. Um, oh, knead, knead. Oh. Um, but this is my favorite way to knead. So I have a dough hook in here. Mine comes with a few attachments. But here's my dough hook attachment and I'll put it on here. And this kneads the dough for me. And all I have to do is put it down and walk away. So this does the majority of my work. But like I said, you don't need that. Um, you can just do it by hand. I did it by hand for several years before I got my mixer. This is a JCPenney uh, stand mixer. Now, you'll need your flour, obviously. And I've got my Nutrameal. I already showed you all that. So I will mix everything up in here. And then whenever it's mixed up and kneaded, I, I don't like to leave it in this metal bowl. <laughs> I have left it in this metal bowl, but if I'm making a big batch like I normally like to do, it will come over the sides. It's like Mount Vesuvius. It just comes out up over when it rises. So I switch it from here and I put it in this bowl. This is a huge bowl my mom found somewhere. I'm not even sure. I pour some coconut oil down in here and I get it up all on the sides and I make sure it's all greased. And I put my dough in here. I flip it over so it's greased on all sides. And then I cover it with a shower cap. Barry gets these for me when he travels. So I will cover up my bowl of dough. You don't have to cover it with something like this. You can just use a towel. Some people say you don't have to cover it at all, but uh, I feel like the top gets crusty and I don't really like that. So cover it or not. Um, I usually will stick it in the oven to proof, but I will not lie to you. That is very, very dangerous because you'll forget, you'll go to make dinner, you'll turn it on to 350 and all of a sudden you smell baked bread. And then, you know, your plastic shower cap is melted to the bowl and you spend ages trying to pry it off. Or so I've heard, I've never really done that myself. Um, so I spent money, uh, I think $10 even, and got a heating pad from Amazon. And so sometimes I'll plug it in and I'll put this on top of the heating pad on low. It just makes it nice and warm so my bread rises just a little bit better because it's cold in this house. If you have a warm house or in the summertime, you probably don't need that. That's just what I have to use in order to get the bread to rise in the winter. So my bread will get to about to the top after it's risen double. And then I take it out and I put it on this big, I flour this. This is my big cutting board from Ikea. I think it only costs like $10, maybe. That sounds familiar. So I'll put it on here, floured, and I knead it, and then I make my loaves. This is one of my favorite utensils when I'm stirring a bread. I always have a wooden utensil. Now, I'll get it here, I'll make my loaves, and I usually cut my bread into pieces to form into loaves with this. This is my bench scraper. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it was $5. So I'll cut my bread into pieces, however many I need, then I shape it into a loaf. This also is very good where it's flat at the flat surface, so when I wanna clean it off, it just scrapes everything right off. So it, makes it super easy to clean. I highly suggest investing in one of these bench scrapers. So I will put my bread into my pans. These are Norpro pans. They're my favorite. I've had several, but these are my favorite. Bread hardly ever sticks. I still grease these with coconut oil and I'll put my um, bread in here. You do not even need pans to make your own bread. You can put it even on a cookie sheet, form your own loaf, like think French bread, um, or a free-form round loaf, you can do that too. I just like mine in pans, but you don't need it. There's a myth that you need all this stuff to be able to make bread, and that's just not true. You know, a bowl, elbow grease, a spoon, make your own bread, quit your whining. So, these are my favorite pans. These are eight inch. I usually make two eight inch loaves. I'll let them raise again with my shower cap on top. And then when it's ready, I pop it into the oven. I usually cook for about 25 minutes. Uh, most of the time will, people will say, if you tap on the top and it sounds hollow that your bread is done. That works for me for the most part, but every once in a while I would end up with a loaf that was still doughy in the middle. So I invested in this nice digital thermometer with a probe. Uh, I actually use swag bucks. You should be doing swag bucks uh, to pay for part of this. 
I turn this off, I stick this, turn this on, it wouldn't do any good if I turned it off. Stick this probe down in the center of the bread, it just leaves a little tiny hole so it's not that bad. And then I'll see if it says 190. If it says 190 or above, I know my bread's finished. If it doesn't say that, then I know it needs to stay in just a little bit longer. Um, again, this is not needed. It's just a nice little thing to have. Also, a timer is a good thing to have because if you're like me, you put something in the oven and then somebody starts hollering mommy or you have to go to the bathroom and then you forget you're cooking and then 45 minutes later, there's a fire in the kitchen. So a timer would be a good investment as well. Also, not needed. Um, so really, you just need some very basic supplies. Even here, these few things that I have aren't very expensive and you buy them one time and you have them forever. And I think that's about it. So these are my favorites. What are your favorites? I'd like to know, leave them in the comments. And if you have any questions, just holler at me.